welcome to desi plaza tv this is anu and we are in houston for the auditions of texas star kalakar one and the only platform for all the talented kids here and this has been a fantastic day so with that i have to tell you guys actually for all this behind there is one person who is so encouraging and definitely someone that we are so grateful to so i have to introduce guru ratna kumar here who is residing in houston who is running a very precious anjali performing arts center so uh, without uh, further delay i would like to introduce and welcome her thank, thank you. you so much for uh, giving us this opportunity to continue our auditions here in this art center thank you. so thank you. i would like to ask you uh, one a uh, beautiful someone that you know like you look at your uh, art center the performance center and they say that i don't feel like i am in usa at all so fantastic so tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your uh, you know passion about uh, this uh, dance music and uh, how we are encouraging the kids here growing up born and brought up in united states Well, they say that you can take India out of uh, a person, but you can't. Uh, I mean, you can take a person, person out of India, India, but you definitely can't take India out, out of, of that person. Absolutely. And certainly, I come under in under that category that uh, I'm um, completely Indian at heart. And um, um, I think I was born and raised in a family of poets mm -hmm. and uh, painters and um, theater actors, singers, <laughs> and uh, so. um i had a very privileged upbringing uh, with great people and it helped me understand the value mm -hmm. of uh, classical arts in india mm -hmm. their um, um their longevity mm -hmm. because you know i mean imagine in the 21st century here in united states <laughs> if just my school we can we can have a couple of hundred students you can imagine there are 16 or 17 schools yes so how many children are pursuing this art form mm -hmm. children born and raised here which means that there is something to be said for the classical arts so Def i'm very proud i'm very very happy and very honored and i think i'm blessed to be given an opportunity to do something that uh, it to me is the breath of my life that's really really fantastic to hear uh, basically so what you said is uh, it runs in the family and definitely is in the genes so <laughs> that definitely showing um, in your hard work um here in this uh, beautiful temple that you have built here for kids um so this one is also a uh, music dance uh, shiksha samiti that is what we should call it as because it's not an easy thing to achieve yes, and yeah, I, i guess you could call it a kalalayam kalalayam because mm -hmm. um one actually uh, a gentleman from bengal was mm -hmm. visiting mm -hmm. and uh, he told me he said beti mm -hmm. I feel that I'm in Shantiniketan oh. and my eyes filled with tears and I thought my god what a beautiful thing for him to have said to me mm -hmm. and I thought that um and somebody else said oh we have a, a little kalakshetra in Houston and I said mm -hmm. you know those people were yoga purushas they um kal you know um rukmini arandel and uh, mm -hmm. rabindranath tagore right, right but if you know in a very small way mm -hmm. i am able to emulate their greatness and do something for the arts in a foreign land mm -hmm. and still build a little india here mm -hmm. and think of this as a shrine as a very sacred place where the arts are held in great sanctity mm -hmm. and venerated and Absolutely. if that is the atmosphere that i can bring here mm -hmm. through music through dance we have vedic math mm -hmm. and um, tabla classes mm -hmm. we have carnatic and hindustani vocal mm -hmm. and uh, bharatanatyam and kuchipudi and i said you know if this is something that i can do for all the time and the effort and the money that my parents had put into my arts education absolutely i am happy that i could do this definitely the performance arts is definitely well defined here in this center i absolutely. can tell uh, because starting from like you said hindustani carnatic you name it and i can see that spirit in these kids who actually performed here today from a morning till evening i have to tell you folks this was one of the best experience and uh, they are extremely talented so um i i am just curious also about uh, you know this building this performance center 
So what was your inspiration that what made you think about building this one? Um, as, I, as I told you, uh, I have a master's in English and I was teaching <laughs> English in India, in the what university. <laughs> but when I came here and I got into the PhD program, I just decided, I said, what is the point in my doing PhD in English when my heart is in dance? I said, I want to pursue what I love most. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be sitting and teaching English to kids. I'd rather teach dance. <laughs> and I talked to my gurus, you know, um, Dr. Vimpati Chinasatyam and Kalei Mamani KJ Sarasa. Mm -hmm. And I repeatedly asked them, I said, do you think I'm capable of teaching mm -hmm. dance because that's all that I want to do for the rest of my life as long as I live? And mm -hmm. they said... Uh, the Upanishads say that if you um, you cannot take art and money with you to the grave, mm -hmm. you need to spread it. So teach. That is so beautiful. That is definitely, I reason. think, so much truth to it. Uh, because, and like I said, it's definitely defined, well defined as much, uh, like I said. Mm -hmm. So, and um, it's, I really would like to... Thank you it's a for uh, giving us such a great opportunity here. And uh, so you watched us perform. And also, I want your suggestion. And what do you think about Texas Star Kalakar? And I want to hear a few words uh, about this platform that's creating uh, something that you know kids are uh, encouraged as well as continue to be in touch with their culture, heritage. I think the uh, wonderful home. thing you're doing, because this is, um, because of this, mm -hmm. the children are able to, they put in more effort to practice, they will sing, and mm -hmm. then through this, they take it seriously. Mm -hmm. they, every, every opportunity of this kind makes them more and more perfect, in, or at least um, get closer to perfection mm -hmm. in whatever they're pursuing. Mm -hmm. Because it is, um, you know, when you, when you have a competition, like when you have an exam, you study. Mm -hmm. So when there is a competition, they work on it. And it definitely helps them, mm -hmm. you know. Um, they're, they're refining mm -hmm. their music or their dance constantly. And this mm -hmm. is an opportunity for them to refine it further, mm -hmm. for them to show the world that they are serious about their art. Mm -hmm. And you have given them that opportunity to show not just their talents, mm -hmm. but to show their involvement, their deep and very uh, uh, dedicated uh, mm -hmm. effort, effort to right. to pursue a wonderful and ancient and a very rich heritage that art form of India. And I mm -hmm. think that is uh, just perhaps the best, your best gift to the children of Houston, and you're doing it everywhere. I commend the team that has uh, thought of this fabulous idea of. Uh, the way you have gone about it, and so disciplined. You people are so disciplined. <laughs> and that is what has helped you know, may present the event itself in such a disciplined fashion, the way you're going about it. It was just a very, I, I had to tear myself away because I was so enjoying the music. <laughs> it was uh, beautiful for, uh, just from the viewpoint of an outsider, I was completely immersed in it's our apologies but also we watched your teaching and we equally uh, pleased and mesmerized with your passion for that as well <laughs> so i would like to thank you on behalf of desi plaza and also i'm really grateful for all of your comments and also i would like you to be part of it as we go further down as well and uh, thank you thank you so thank much you. my heartfelt congratulations to the entire team of desi plaza and uh, my best wishes that this wonderful program continue for a long time to come. Well, thank you everyone for watching and uh, definitely uh, wish us the best.